Friday the 13th. I'm here again with another DIY. This one's going to be quick and simple. This time we're going to take a coffee filter. And I've got all these leftover leaves. And I hope I have enough. And what we're going to do is hot glue them to this coffee filter. I'm going to start in the center. And just glue one right in the center. I was thinking about starting on the edges. But I thought I'd start in the center because I'm not quite sure if I have enough uh, leaves. So I thought if I started in the center, maybe that would help ensure I have enough leaves. And hopefully this is not going to glue to the mat. We will see. Oh, and these are the maple leaves. I'm just I'm making sure that I cover up any I'm making sure I cover up any white of the um well I lied I didn't that time any white on the um coffee filter couldn't think of what that was called they keep getting little glue strings Oh, it probably have been good to start with that in the center. And there is no rhyme or reason to this. If you do yours, you can, of course, do a pattern. Let's see, I think I'm going to do another big red leaf over here. That one might end up getting pretty covered up by the end of it. We will see. And this is something again that just popped in my head. I wanted something to put under my, um, the pumpkin I just made in the other video. So this is just kind of something that came in my head to to try to make. We'll see how it turns out. Hopefully it doesn't look goofy. If it does, then I'm only out a dollar. <laughs> when you do these, check them because sometimes there's actually two stacked on top of each other. Like I feel like that's two. Yeah, see? Oh, spatula. And I'm hoping it I'm hoping the weight of the leaves will make this lay down. We will see. I'm kind of starting to go around in a fashion now. Like I was kind of planning on doing when I uh, was thinking about doing this. But I just looked at the leaves and I was kind of worried about having enough leaves to do this. And this is should be a pretty quick uh, DIY to make. And do another green one. I have not crafted in years, and now that I've started this um, YouTube channel, it's just really got me back to crafting, and I love it. I want to thank all of y'all out there who make. DIY videos for inspiring me to, to start back crafting. I forgot how much I enjoyed it. Okay. And I kind of want it if I can to where the leaves are going to hang off the edge but again I want to make sure I'm covering up all of the white on this I'm going to glue this down a little bit more on the edge so far I think it's working pretty good on the coffee filter because I think the coffee filter is kind of absorbing the glue to keep it from it's it's not it's not going through the back of this at all. So so far I think this is gonna work. 
Let's see, I think I'm gonna put this over here. I was just thinking this was a good option if you wanted to put some leaves, but you didn't want to scatter them. Especially if you're like me and you have a, a one-year-old or a small child that's going to take them and just throw them off into the floor. At least if they get a hold of this, they're all together. So that was kind of my thought process with this is it's kind of a, a child-proof type thing. And Grayson has Anna Claire upstairs, so if you hear her every now and then, that's them upstairs playing. They are home for school, from school, and I didn't get a chance to, to film this before they got home, so I asked him to babysit for me. He loves to take her upstairs and uh, play in his room, and she loves going up there and, and getting into... He, he's, he's a sweet brother. He let, Oh, those are pretty. I forgot about these. He's a sweet brother. He lets her get into things. Oh, you know what? I need some more glue. Getting low. I didn't realize I'm, I haven't used the glue gun in years either. I, I didn't realize how fast the glue goes. And I am using the uh, gorilla gorilla glue from um I got it from Walmart. Try to cover that, but I want it well. Might have to do another one right there to cover that up. I was trying to get the leaves where they're not all going the same direction. I want them to look like they fell to the ground in a pile. I used to love to rake leaves into a pile as a child and jump into them. We don't have any trees around here now, so I don't have any leaves to jump into. And you just kind of have to play with it and make sure you cover it up all the white. And not burn yourself like I just did. There is another uh, DIY I want to do, and I might not get to it today because it's getting about time for my husband to get home. And I think we might try to go get groceries tonight. If not, um, grocery haul will be tomorrow if we don't get... If he's not in the mood to go, then I'll have to just wait and go with the kids tomorrow. Sometimes he gets home from work and he's just like, I'm just tired. I don't want to go anywhere. And, and I completely understand. I don't blame him. We don't have a lot to get from Walmart. I mainly try to get my groceries from Aldi and um, save a lot. But there's just certain name brand things that my kids um, like to get from Walmart. So I unfortunately have to go about once a week. I would like to try to figure out how to go only like once a month. But I don't see that happening. Now I just gotta do this edge over here. I'm gonna do another um, glittery one. I think I'll do it over here. And again, my glue is running. It is getting low again. Just runs out too fast. Good, I'm gonna have enough leaves. I was worried when I dumped them out. I thought, oh gosh, I've kind of been using them. I, I might not have enough. Make sure that this is in frame where y'all can see. Put that right there. To kind of move it to where it's. Covering up the white. 
We don't want any white to show. Okay. I think I'm gonna do another glitter one here and then I'll do one more right there. Not a, not a glitter one, something else though. But I'm gonna do a glitter here. I guess this is technically a leaf do uh, doily. <clears throat> I guess that's what I will call this. It's just a great way to use up um, any leftover leaves you have to give you an excuse to go to Dollar Tree and buy more. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to do a green one here, and then I'll do one something else right there. Well, there's already some glue there, but I'm going to add to it. Make sure we get enough glue on there. There we go. And then I, finish, I think I'm going to finish with an orange leaf right here to cover up this um, white space. Try not to get those strings. And again, see this one is too, and it's really thick. A while ago, I was gluing, and I thought, wow, that is a really thick leaf, and it was like three leaves. Okay. And that will just lay there. And there we go. We have a leaf doily. And now you can um, set something on top of it instead of scattering it all over your table and your kid coming in and throwing it everywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna go um, set this up and I'll show you how it looks after it dries. I'll make sure it's nice and dry. So this is it with the um, salt lamp on it. And now I'll show you with my other decorations that I made, how it looks all this together. It's pretty tall. I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to get a little bit of aerial to where you can see. I'm sorry if it's not that the greatest shot, but there you go. This is all of um, the three DIYs together. If you have a um, it big area like this, like I could make another one and uh, put a smaller one here. You can, of course, cut down the um, the coffee filter so you can make one. I was going to put it here, but it was just too big, so that's why I set it there. That's it for this DIY. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please click below and subscribe. Y'all have a happy Friday the 13th. I love you all. Bye.